and we are back here in Vault 11, which I stumbled upon unexpectedly, meaning I didn't expect to find a place. I was actually on my way to another place when I walked into it. some pretty sinister shit uh, going on in the past. I think it's time for me to take a dive. Oh, I'll be here. Just don't expect me to fend off a gang of super mutants while you're gone. Funny. Just wanna put the light on. This rebreather thing is pretty damn neat. I don't think I would be able to even go around down here. Oh, this is where it leads to. Well, I, I might be able to swim through here. Uh, but uh, I would be too much focused on uh, like not, not drowning that uh, be able to focus on noticing anything and stuff. Hello, Eddie. Okay. Lead the way. to go to overseer's office to, to see that site. Uh, and now I'm not sure which way was back to the We came this way. It's a good thing I checked. Yep. Happens to me all the time. What does the sign say? You did it.
really important. So many functions in one, and I can make it myself. Okay, and here's a second wire. Oh, these doors lead to separate places. Here. Oh, I'll be here. Just don't. Yeah, I know. I won't expect anything. Huh. Okay. Okay, I can't search it. Thingy does that I just picked up. Oh. I guess that's some differential pressure for me. Lead the way. Okay, now well, we are here because let's check out our atrium, utility, oh, we need to go back through utility and then to see the overseer's office, I think. No, wait. Okay, now I'm lost again. I didn't go through the utility before, but we went through the reactor. Okay, uh, another quick save. Ah, it's the shotgun here. Any more traps? Judging by, uh, by what seems to have been going on in here, I mean that whole social experiment thing, it would seem that, uh, that this uh, lady who slept with half of the The other half uh, was actually making quite a rational choice. Well, the killing part at least. Okay, let's see what's in here.
and save goes here. Okay, the coffee cup top of the chamber is a nice touch. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. Um. Yeah, this is like spooky. Although I have to appreciate the beauty of the underground utility tunnels. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. <laughs> Go to the light. Fuck you. Oh, uh, now what? Uh. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. I don't want to sit in the chair. I'll uh, just look from here, thank you very much. Oh uh, wait, it won't engage unless I... The show requires that you sit in the chair. Of course it does. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier, and remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine no. what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. <laughs> okay, what happens now?
wonder what the footlockers are for if they if the people in here are gonna be dead anyway. Just for the bots then. Okay, another manual save. Because I'm guessing there might be some choices coming up. citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. <laughs> but not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. <laughs> Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Uh, of course it is. Okay, so this has been one huge uh, Milgram experiment. Like, uh, well, okay, with the with the frets on the side, but still, it's uh, the same same basic principle to order or request or enforce uh, some harm another as an act of obedience. Okay, and how do we get out of the cell hole? Incidentally, the other day I was... Uh, no, not from here. The other day I was... Uh, I'm sort of pondering or theorizing that... Uh, wait... Before... We came and saw these signs and went to security first. So we came from this way. Uh, I was theorizing that uh, oftentimes uh, uh, oftentimes the game quests uh, basically play a Milgram experiment on the player as well. As in uh, Will you or will you not harm another entity uh, just because the game tells you, uh, the game tells you to? about it when I when I was uh, when I was uh, pondering over the wait how the fuck do we get out of here when I was thinking about the uh, that quest in uh, Milvac uh, where uh, where you would have to uh, kill the... Oh, but 
we couldn't find our way in here before. Huh, okay. Uh, the quest in Novak where you have to kill the Nightkin who, uh, who keeps uh, slaughtering uh, this uh, one couple's Brahmin. And the thing is that uh, at least when I tried it, uh, the game only gave me the choice to uh, to attack him, but uh, uh, well, and observe him, but not not to talk to him. Oh, it's the same. Uh, so yeah, basically the game only gives you, offers you one, uh, well it's not even a choice, but uh, Your choice is to, I guess, uh, is to take the quest. But once you have taken the quest, then there is always the option to uh, just not do it. This is uh, something that, as the game or as the player or the protagonist, that. Uh, Hardly ever think of. It sort of got me thinking about those uh, those times when I uh, when I have made choices in my games that I genuinely uh, loathed. Uh, wasn't proud about. this junction, that, uh, or this uh, fork in the road that I thought there in my room, not the other one. Okay, that explains a lot. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Okay, so they did try to leave. But... Are we really gonna do this? It's open, we could just leave. I couldn't. Not after that. We don't deserve to leave. A shining example. That's what it called us. But we were. We did what we were supposed to. 
Not by a long shot. Anybody would have done what we did. You ask me? That's exactly the problem. Now let's get on with this. I'll go first. Wait, wait! People should know what happened. They could learn from it. If there's anyone out there at all, I hope they never have to find out. <laughs> Ready, Harry? Yeah. No, no, no! Wait! So it would seem that one of the shining examples uh, killed himself or herself, but not before he or she had killed the others. And I think. Okay, that was brief, but deep and unpleasant. Where did we find Monica? Okay, soon. This is uh, one thing that I have been uh, putting off from the very, very start of the game because uh, I was suspecting that it might uh, it might lead to the uh, I don't know the uh, faction behavior changes that I wasn't ready yet. Wait, the trading post right here. I mean, Veronica's right behind that hill, I would think. Why is the... Why is the map pointing elsewhere? Hello. Still making a nuisance of yourself? Har, har, har. Take a look. Cases so that they wouldn't clutter up my inventory screen. No, that I can't really sell them. But, huh, where did I pick this up? Okay. 
Also, I wonder if there's any any quest or demand for these. I mean, they are abundant, but uh, is there something you can actually do with them or not? Actually, I have been selling the magazines too because I'm not really using them anymore. But I keep one of each uh, with me just in case. Okay, and I don't need these anymore, not so many. I'm gonna keep a few still. And the desert is feeding me and pouring me drinks. I don't have to carry around all the water bottles. Oh, I still have some of this. This is expensive. Okay. This is how I usually do business. I try to. Pleasure doing business with you. Sell a little more than I Later. Buy. Okay. Quick save here. Let's go see the boy. Actually, with him, it was one of these. Uh, moments where I wasn't all that proud about what I did. Is that Mr. Cuddles? Or just the teddy bear? Just the teddy bear. Uh, he said that uh, if he thinks too hard then uh, uh, he's gonna get a headache. And uh, there was this one more question in his dialogue tree which was like a big and vague uh, about the... Oh, let's go catch the trader as well. Which was uh, sort of a big and vague one about the destiny of, uh, of Wasteland in general. And I could uh, figure out that uh, he doesn't really have a good answer for it, but uh, it would be harmful uh, to, uh, for him uh, to be asked uh, one more question. But hey there! Need anything? Oh, you're new. I haven't seen you. At least not lately. Sure. Here's what I got. And uh, I still wanted to make sure that I had exhausted all the dialogue options. So I, I asked anyway. I felt bad about it afterwards. I just want the cars. Whoa. Now what?